Lucas, uh, first of all, congratulations. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you played against the Blackhawks last year when they were overseas. And uh, what's it feel like now to be drafted by them? Um, thank you. Yeah, it's a great feeling and I uh, feel so great. And yeah, the game against uh, Chicago was unreal for me. And uh, to play against uh, the top stars like Jonathan Pace and uh, Patrick Kane, that's it was a great experience for me, and yeah. We'll take our next question from Mark Lazarus with The Athletic. Laz, your mic is active. Hi, Lucas. Uh, congratulations. Um, uh, how would you describe your game? Do you have any guys in the NHL you model your game after? And uh, what do you think your timetable is for uh, arriving in the NHL? Um, yeah, my game style is... Uh, Maybe like Elias Patterson, uh, because I'm not the biggest guy, not the strongest guy on the ice, but uh, I'm a smart guy. I'm a good skater. I like to shoot. And yeah, that's my game style. And uh, yeah, I don't know uh, when the season starts here in Germany. And uh, maybe I can play in, uh, in next year or in maybe two or three years in the NHL. So we will see what's going to happen. Our next question comes from Phil Thompson with the Chicago Tribune. Phil, your line is active and you can go. Sure thing. Lucas, uh, first of all, congratulations. Uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, what was the communication uh, like uh, with uh, Stan and the scouting staff? Like what things did you kind of talk about? What do you think that they see in you, that they uh, had the selection on you? Um, I think they're seeing, uh, like, I have good potential, like, uh, if I get stronger the, in the next years or in the next season, then uh, I can uh, be a good a good player and a stronger guy and play a more physical game. And, uh, yeah. We go now to Chris Bowden with WGN Radio in Chicago. Chris, your line is active. You can go ahead. Thanks, uh, and again, another welcome to Chicago, uh, Lucas. And uh, how how many steps, or how how do you think your game progressed this past year uh, playing against men in your league? Uh, what, what kind of steps do you think you really took over the past year? Uh, yeah, uh, it was like the first uh, first games in the pro league. It was hard uh, because, like I said, I'm not the uh, strongest guy on the ice, but uh, I had a lot of uh, video meetings uh, with the coach. We watched all my uh, shifts uh, from the last games, and I tried. He said like what was good and what was not so good, and I tried to improve uh, that uh, in the next game. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm uh, here now. We will go now to Ben Pope with the Chicago Sun Times. Ben, your line is active, but you can go ahead. Hi, Lucas. Uh, congratulations. Um, what was your reaction when you found out, when you saw on TV, uh, the pick? Uh, just what was going through your mind in that moment? Uh, yeah, it was an unreal moment for me. Like, uh, my whole family is here in the restaurant and my whole team is here. And it was just an unreal moment. I can't believe it right now. And uh, it's, uh, I enjoy the time and, uh, yeah. Our next question will come from Charlie Romeliotis from NBC Sports Chicago. Charlie, your line is active and you can go ahead. Hey, Lucas, uh, congratulations. Uh, when do you think you, you can make it to the NHL full time? Like, what's your timetable in your mind? Uh, two years. We'll go now to. Uh, Scott King with NBC Chicago. Scott, your line is active. You can go ahead. Hi, Lucas. Congrats. I wanted to ask you about your uncle Robert and if you've been able to learn anything about him and his experience from the NHL. Um, yeah, I learned uh, good things uh, from him and from my dad, too. Um, we are a hockey family, and I learned so many things from my family. And uh, it's just awesome to have them here and they're supporting me all the time and uh, yeah. Our next question will come from Maximilian Haupt 
from the German press agency. Hey, Lucas, congrats. This is Max from the German press agency. Um, welcome to the States, I guess. Um, I would like to know how are the motions during a draft when you're not know when you're going to be picked? How do you process that and how nervous have you been? And then as a second question, how much of an impact do you think it has that Leon Dreisaitl has become MVP and that kind of like leading the way for other German players as they're, yeah, that they're being acknowledged in the US and in Canada? Uh, uh, yeah, I was very nervous uh, before the draft. And like I said, my whole team and my family was here and uh, they were nervous too. And uh, now I enjoy the time and uh, it's an honor to uh, to play maybe in two or next season with the Chicago and uh, it's just an honor and yeah what Dreisaitl did uh, last season that's unreal and uh, it's very good for Germany and I think in the next years Germany will uh, improve and uh, can play against the big nations and uh, yeah. Our next question will come from Carter Baum with Blackhawks.com. Carter, your line is active. You can go ahead. Lucas, welcome to Chicago. I wanted to know, I mean, last season, that preseason game against Chicago was really one of your first tastes of the pro level. What was that experience like? I know you mentioned playing against Kane and Taze, but how, uh, how surreal was that and how big of a, a wake-up call, I guess, was that to the level of hockey that you're trying to take your game to? Yeah, it was uh, a good experience and uh, – I know how they play, like in the NHL, I, like I played against Chicago, and uh, I know uh, what's going on there, and uh, the game was a great experience for me, like I said, and uh, yeah. We'll go now back to Mark Lazarus with The Athletic. Mark, your line is active, you can go ahead. Lucas, I, I wanted to go back to the game you played against the Blackhawks. Um, did you get a chance to meet any of the players? Was there any interaction? Did you have any wow moments on the ice when you're going up against a Kane or a Tave? Uh, no. Uh, no, I had no uh, – never meet, like, um, Taves or uh, a Kane. But uh, I hope – I'm looking forward to meet them in the next years so or in the next month. We'll go now back to Charlie Romeliotis from NBC Sports Chicago. Charlie, your line's active. You can go ahead. Hey, Lucas, what do you remember about your in-person or uh, your Zoom meeting with the Blackhawks in your interview? Uh, I was just myself. Uh, nothing special, like just myself and, uh, yeah. Okay, our next question here will come from Phil Thompson with the Chicago Tribune. Phil, your line's active. You can go ahead. Uh, two things. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm th mistaken, this is the first time two German players have been taken in the first round. If you can comment on the significance of that. And also, just want to get a sense of what you know about the history of the Blackhawks and the, and the history and, and vibe of the city of Chicago? Uh, yeah, like not much. Uh, when I was younger, I uh, always, uh, my favorite player was always uh, uh, Patrick Kane. And yeah, my favorite team was always uh, Chicago. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, and now I'm, uh, a, I'm a Blackhawks too. And that's so awesome. And uh, yeah. <laughs> 